While I no longer do any direct basketball training, I left that five years ago to pursue, pursue this career as a corporate keynote speaker. But when I was in the basketball training space, one of my responsibilities was to make sure that every single player on our team could quickly move to the next play. You just turned the ball over, it's okay, next play. You just missed a wide open layup, it's okay, next play. Yes, I know, the referee missed the call. It happens occasionally in basketball, next play. As a performance coach, why would I want my players focused on the next play? It's the only one they can do anything about. They can't do anything about the turnover, the missed layup, or the referee's inability to blow the whistle. That is now in the rearview mirror. And any time and energy or emotional currency they put in the rearview mirror, something that is now behind them that is unchangeable, means they're not investing that presence in the moment which means they're not able to perform at their highest level. And there are a lot of similarities between the game of basketball and the rest of life and business in general. In the game of elite level basketball, if you turn the ball over, you miss a layup or the referee misses a call and you choose, the most important word in that sentence, you choose to hang your head, to pout, to jog back on defense, there is a very good chance that the person you're guarding just scored a layup or depending on the level you play, a dunk on the other end. You just took a two point mistake and immediately compounded it into a four point mistake by choosing to be in your feelings and choosing not to be present. We are all going to make mistakes. It's 9 a.m. I've made a dozen of them so far today. I promise you, we're all gonna make mistakes. We cannot be in the business of compounding mistakes. Anytime we make a mistake, we need to immediately acknowledge it, hold ourselves fully accountable. We need to learn from it, apologize or make amends if necessary, depending on the mistake, and then we need to flush it. We need to move on to the next play. Take a moment right now and just think of all of the scenarios in your lives, assuming that nobody in here is an elite level basketball player. And as I scan the crowd, I think that's a pretty fair assertion. So what are the things in your life that you need to quickly move to the next play instead of rehashing the past? By show of hands, anybody in here ever had an argument with a spouse? Anybody here had a disagreement with a coworker? Is anybody in here in sales and you feel like you're in a little bit of a slump? The last four sales calls or the last four proposals didn't go your way? You gotta quickly move to the next play.